and welcome, guys. Today, we are going to play the popular horror game, Poppy Playtime. It's not too scary, it's actually quite simple. If you enjoy horror games, you will definitely like this one. This is just an introduction, you can skip it if you like. It's not very important, but it explains what we are doing in this factory. We're just workers trying to restore the power to the factory and find a creepy AI robot doll that looks like a small child's toy. This doll helps children with their homework, just like the AI robots that are now available in the market. The doll is located somewhere in the factory, and we need to find it. There was some kind of chaos that occurred because of a flower, which caused a power outage throughout the factory. In this introduction, we'll learn what we need to do and what we'll find in the factory. We have to locate the flower at the end. Now, let's start the game. It's not a very difficult game, it's actually quite fun. If you are fond of horror games, you must try this one. Let's enter the factory. It takes a bit of time to load, but the graphics are outstanding. Everything is up to the mark, and it's not very costly. You can download it from the Google Play Store or the Apple Play Store. After clicking the two lines at the top right, you will see the settings. If you click on the title screen, you will go back to the title screen, and if you click on load, you can start from where you left off. After clicking on items, it will take some time to load, and the loading time will vary depending on your device. Once it loads, you can see what items you have picked up and adjust settings like brightness, FOV, and sensitivity. I recommend keeping the sensitivity in the middle because it's the best option to play without any problems. You can increase the brightness for a better experience. I recommend keeping it at the maximum level, so you can see the natural colors and enjoy the game. FOV allows you to control how much angle and view you want to see. You can also set graphics according to your preference. I recommend playing at the highest level, but if your device is not high performance, you can try the medium or let the device set graphics by itself. Now, let's finally start the game. You can see that the graphics are really outstanding. This is the main character of the game, Poppy Playtime. Let's go there. It looks really nice, and the colors are natural. Here, we get our DVD, and there is a DVD player here as well. We've stored the DVD in our item box, and the maximum item number you can take is equal to the number of slots you have got. After some time, we will put this DVD in the player because it's not important right now. If you come here, you will notice a creepy toy lying in the room. In order to open the door, you need a device which works hand. Let go inside the room, you'll see that this room looks really good. To open the front door, you will need a code. Luckily, there are four codes that you can easily find here, just watch on above train. The room itself look nice and well maintained. Simply input the four color code green, pink, yellow, red, and the door will open. The haptics and overall experience are really impressive. You must give it a try. When a DVD is brought close to the DVD player, it will automatically take it inside and start playing. The code that we obtained from the train is a sequence of green, pink, yellow, and red. Once this code is entered, the gate is opened. However, if you can come back, the gate will be opened. Before proceeding, make sure to insert the DVD into the player. The television's introduction is straightforward to follow. Initially, we get a blue left hand, which is followed by a red right hand, which we will get as we progress through the game. After the introduction, the first hand will be available. To acquire the hand, simply move towards it, and it will attach itself to your hand. This device is fun to use. Now let's go towards the door and try to open it in the left hand work like a fingerprint on blue hand shaped scanner to open the door. The graphics are impressive, and we are introduced to the main character, Poppy. We get doors with two hands and a hand door. To proceed, we need to aim at one hand door, which will open a door. Unfortunately, the power goes out, and the game begins. You need to aim at key in Poppy hand. Now key has been stored in your item you can check by opening your item list. If we want to enter the powerhouse, we need the key. Without it, we cannot access the area. Once inside, we need to connect our power supply from the power grid. To do this, we use our hand safety to connect the lamps. First you need to open the door and then you will use your hand by aiming it on power supply. Now you need to connect these two lamps. After completing the power supply, we can go outside to see what happens next. We notice that our character, Poppy, disappears. This will likely be a recurring event in the game. Now let's open the door. Each and everything of the game look fantastic. 
we encounter two doors, and the left one seems forward. As we enter, the atmosphere becomes scary. If you enjoy horror games, you should definitely try this one. We finally entered the factory main working area. I think we can't open the gate from this side. Now let's go up using these stairs. We get the DVD player again, but we need to find a DVD to play on it. While it's not crucial to listen to the audio, some people prefer to have the full experience. If you're one of those people, you can try it out, but it's not a big deal to us if you don't. Moving on, we need to focus on fixing the blue light box near the podium. We require four different colored lighting boxes, and we have successfully obtained the blue one. Now, we need to locate the others, so let's open the door and search. Ah, there's the red one. However, we cannot reach the DVD player from this side. We'll need to try a different approach to get there. Unfortunately, it seems like neither this side nor that side will work. Alright, we've obtained the first box from this location. As you can see, there's another one up there. You can reach it easily with your hand. Moving on, we only have one box left, which happens to be the yellow one. Let's locate it. Ah, it's at the top, but it's still easy to retrieve using your hand. Great, now that we have all three boxes, we can head up and use the DVD player if you'd like. I don't see any issue with using it. Although, it might be a bit challenging to hear the audio since it plays from the back. As you can see, all three boxes will be attached to this podium automatically when you come near it. Additionally, we've obtained our second hand, which happens to be the red or right hand. The machine here is working flawlessly, and you'll soon discover that it's not too scary since it only begins after we reach the factory and finish our task. Our primary horror game will begin then. For now, we need to utilize both of our hands. The blue icon corresponds to the blue hand, while the red icon corresponds to the red hand. I hope you're enjoying the video. If you are, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. If you're interested in downloading this game, it's quite simple. Just go to either the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and download from there. You'll need to purchase this item. Fortunately, it's relatively not much expensive and can be bought with money. Regarding the power supply, we've found number 2, but we still need to locate number 1. I believe that is the number 1 power supply. Now if we need to connect the power supply, you'll need to climb up here and utilize one hand to connect with number 1 power supply. Now you need connect this lamp. After connecting the lamp, Simply turn around and use your other hand to connect it to the second terminal. It's quite easy and only takes a few seconds for the belt to start moving us towards our destination. Now that it has begun, it appears to be a genuinely terrifying like a horror film, and we're thrilled to be experiencing it in the game, particularly since we couldn't experience in real life. The game is excellent, and we're eager to get to the end as soon as possible. After jumping down, we'll need to repeat the same task. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any power supply available. The task was to restore power supply to the factory since all power sources had shut down due to some issue. You can see another DVD player here which you can use or leave as per your choice. Our DVD is there, and you can simply pull it out with either hand. Once you have the DVD, you can connect it to the DVD player and then try to connect your hand to the power supply. I think due to some glitch red hand is not connecting. You can use blue hand to connect. It connected, now you can use your hand to pull the ramp. Now for the convince you can call back ramp. You need to aim properly on ramp, since it is a sensitive game you need to do each and everything perfectly. Now it has came back. Now you need to simply come from the right side of this lamp and from the left side of the second lamp. In front there is second power supply. Now you need to walk through this ramp and need to aim your red hand on the center of second power supply. The circuit is finally completed. Now you can simply jump down. There is no fall damage. Now you need to walk towards this podium. You can see the power is back. Now you need to only press this red button. Machines will start in a real impressive manner. Now you need to come towards these levers. You need to simply pull them down. You can see some parts of a toy has come. I think now it will be assembled in those massive machine and this toy will be our key for the further game. These machines look nice. I think we need this to open the door. Anytime we can get our toy. These look fantastic will working. Even those eyes of the machines look really scary. You see our toy is step by step going through every machine. At last I would say that if you love the video then leave a like and subscribe our channel for such more content. 
If you are willing to download the game can simply write Poppy Playtime in search bar of Google Play Store or Apple App Store, like that you can simply find the game and download it by paying its price required. Okay, have a nice day till then take care, goodbye.